the narrative about Africa needs to change. African uh, tourism product focuses primarily on things like safari, beach resorts, uh, big hotels, but the real, um, the real benefit and the real it stays in much more, sm much smaller enterprises, micro businesses, and uh, a lot of cooperation that can come out of those micro initiatives that are taking place. We want to have opportunities where people are outdoors more than they're indoors. So we're encouraging hotels to have more sustainable products in terms of their the physical features that make up the building of the hotels. We're looking at how to handle waste management, solid waste management. We're trying to be eco-friendly. We want to preserve Kisumu's authentic nature. And we don't want to be this big blue concrete jungle. We do want to be more um, in keeping with nature. In terms of tourism, uh, we, uh, the continent hardly receives nor makes a lot of money from the, uh, from, the, from the tourism industry. But this is also because of the way the, the, the continent has been conditioned uh, as a destination for the Western market. Now we're trying to change that narrative. And uh, we're seeing that uh, that model is actually not very sus uh, sustainable because if you look at uh, the travel advisories that a number of member states receive, the tourism industry almost actually collapsed. But what really keeps these uh, uh, destinations going, let's take the example of Kenya in 2007, 2008, 2013 and so forth. What keeps uh, such destinations going uh, is the domestic market and also increasingly the regional market.